Oh, okay, hello, and welcome to the Unonbot quick rundown video. This is not, this is just a tech demo, per se, of what the bot can do. Um, this is not a tutorial bot, so don't expect me to explain everything and everything and, um, you know, everything. <laughs> First thing we need to do, you know, because how this bot works is it's an HTTP based bot, which means you can control it from any device that has online internet access. You just load up your website, it's a command, command done. Uh, you can do it on the go when you're at a friend's house. Oh, hey, buddy, I can, you want me to take out the site? I can take it out. Um, and, you know, it can be used for various things. But it's just, it's all, what's awesome about that is you don't need to worry about any port folding, and it does not link back to you. So as long as you take precautions and set up VPNs and proxies, you can not be traced while using the bots. Now I'm saying that, you know, not be traced. Don't hold me to that, because if you slip up and you get caught, do not blame me. But good, let's go ahead and get started, you know. First of all, I've got this, you know, I just quick did it on the free web hosting, so don't expect to go to it, because by the time I finish this video, it'll be gone and deleted. We're going quick connect, a bot connection, da da da, da da da. Now, first thing we need to do is upload our PHP files and our all kinds of files. There's inside the files, there are other things, such as the counter text, which holds how many bots are connected, stuff like that. And you command sheets, which, if you open it up, has the very simple command structure. It has a command and the number. How this works is it'll once you when once the bot sees the command, it'll first see the number. If the number has not changed since last command, it will not run that command. It's it was just kind of a primitive way of setting it up so that you won't run the same command twice. If you go ahead and close this and open up to our page, let's go ahead and refresh. As you can see, there are errors and all kinds of errors. Failed to open stream, permission denied. We're good. What we need to do is just go ahead and select everything, right click, file permission, recurse all file directories. Set that to 777. And I'm pretty sure there's, you know, there's something else I need to set it to rather than 777 full rights. But at the moment, since I don't really feel like debugging and you know going through everything, let's just go ahead and set that up. Alright, I didn't really look at random command, I might have gotten disconnected because it likes to do that. Full connection, public files, right click. Right click, file permissions, 777, do that. Uh, see, it ran the command that time. Now, if you refresh your center page, as you can see, errors are gone, which means it's good to go. As long as you don't see any PHP errors, it is good to go. Next thing we need to do is compile our bots. Now, once I get this release, it'll probably be, you know, with a builder, so you just have to answer the things. Which go ahead and right click that, open up C Sharp. As you can see, there are three strings. I mean, there's lots of other strings you can edit of various things, but at the moment, since this is not a tutorial, we're just going to run down the three basic strings you need. So let's go ahead and copy your URL, and paste it. Uh, okay, make sure, paste it, paste, no, oh, no, hang on. Paste it. You can see these three URLs are what we need to do. After you do that, go ahead and hit build, and it'll build the box. Uh, come out, be using my other process. Oh, hang on, because I was just testing this box. We'll go ahead and uh, end the task. Then we build again. Build succeed. Sorry about that little hiccup, but I don't feel like redoing the video. Next thing we need to do is I got a shortcut on the desktop to run it, and at the moment it doesn't auto install, so it doesn't have any of that. It just runs and checks. I mean, it does have an auto install feature, so it don't be like, oh, well, you know, it doesn't do that. No, it does, but at the moment I've got that disabled. So go ahead and click that. As you can see, nothing happened. Woo, what a surprise. Uh. <laughs> Next thing we now you know we make sure it's running. Go ahead into Task Manager. As you can see, Windows Update. Windows Update is the bot. Once the bot gets completed, I'll probably have it set up so it doesn't appear in at least application of the Task Manager. But at the moment, it does. It is still some of a beta. It's a, but it's, it is it's a fully working beta. There's just some things that you know need to be fixed, such as this. Now, as you can see, you can't really you know if you refresh the page, online bots are still zero. We're probably wondering, well, how do I know if they're online? Simply type in report. You're gonna have to wait a few moments because this is done on a 10 second cycle. Maybe it was a cycle. Go ahead and keep refreshing the page. Don't do another command. Once you do another command, it will clear that back to zero. There we go. Uh, as you can see, bots are now coming online. Well, bots. There's just the one bot. We want you install it. Every, once they, every time they install, that the installed bot number will go up. But that and that will not get cleared on a command, um, on a command submit. Just the online bots. Now, because watch, you know, if we type in view, v i e w asterisk, 
http forward slash google.com and click submit within 10 seconds unless it's already been a few seconds uh, it will view google in the web page but at the moment as you can see it reset that back to zero and ta -da, google was just been opened up on bot uh, another thing we could do is demo the message command, msg asterisk, hello the bot, click submit, and just wait for it. As you can see, hello the bots, the bots is responding and it just opened up a command box. There are other, also UDP things such as this, which I really don't feel like expression at the moment. But they do work, they are functional part of the, body bo uh, the dirty bot commands, and they do quite work. Um, I mean, as you can tell, one thing I might actually test, which, let's go ahead and live test it now, google.com, which I'm pretty sure is going to fail. You know, you got to adventure somehow. Because what it does is, it, it does a process dot command, so if it doesn't have a process for google.com, it's not going to work. But it just kind of shows you, right now it's still a little picky. Um, there are still some things that need to be tweaked, but right now, at the moment, it is fully working, and this is kind of a demo to show you what is coming up in the future.